Breckenridge is so cool. <laughs> On our way to Breckenridge, we happened to get Bison Herd Overlook at the right time. A lot of people taking photos, so we're gonna join them. You don't typically see this many bison. There's a sign that points them out, but they're here maybe like once a month. I don't even know the actual fact. Look at this guy rolling around here. <laughs> They're all just wagging their tails, rolling around in the dirt, enjoying their days. Kind of makes me want a bison burger. <laughs> that was a cool pit stop right off I-70, and uh, let's go get stuck in traffic on our way to Breckenridge. Well, I'm sure this has a ton of people in the winter, but so far we've the alpine slide there's mountain biking hiking mini golf a mountain coaster along with the slide lots of dogs. <laughs> lots of dogs uh, bars you can get some ipas ice cream um i see like, there's some like trampolines like some bungee trampolines where they strap you up and hurt your <laughs> <laughs> but yeah Here's Breckenridge during the summer. I just found out that Breckenridge actually has 300 plus days of sun every year, so it makes for a pretty awesome ski spot. And uh, another kind of funny fact that I didn't realize until just now is that the movie Dumb and Dumber was shot here, even though it was said it was placed in Aspen, but apparently this is a better spot than Aspen. So where are you headed? Aspen. Mmm, California. Beautiful. That was good. Apparently the coaster is a lot faster than the Alpine slide. That's probably why it's a little bit more expensive. Everyone coming off says I want to do this again, so I might have to might have to get my wristband for it. Oh, looks like we got some some uh, babies mining gold over here too. <laughs> Not bad. We got so much to do. Now we're at Kids Base Camp. Just checking it out, seeing what else they have to offer here in Breckenridge. <laughs> zip line so also looks like this might be more for the winter but they got a little tubing ride for the kids too so kids base camp solid place for kids but uh it might be a little too big megan wants to race but i'm double her size so gravity is gonna Help me win. I would definitely recommend that. <laughs> wow. Alpine slide, that was a win. What did you think? It was really fun. Yeah, I, I went fast. <laughs> I went, he told us the full send, so that's what I had to do. I was a little worried my phone was gonna fall off, but uh, we made it. Alpine slide. Not bad. Yeah, let's go in the gondola. And then maybe grab a IPA after that. Finished up our photo shoot right in the flowers outside the ski hill. We have a sunset sailboat cruise planned over in Lake Dillon, about 20, 30 minutes from here. Uh, Frisco area, Lake Dillon area is only about 20, 30 minutes down the road. So um, it's on our way back to Denver and uh, I'm looking forward to being on a sailboat in the mountains right at sunset. So let's go. 
it's turned kind of rain on the way over to our sailboat cruise, so really... It always rains when we have something planned for the sunset. Yeah, but that could also mean that there's some cool clouds to make for a cool sunset. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. You're a little feeling a little nervous. A little disappointed, but yeah, we can... I'd rather not get wet. Yeah, definitely rather not get ready. get wet. Um, if we can reschedule, that's all good. Sure. Uh, and there's a tiki bar. There is a tiki bar. <laughs> well, they are not going to be sailing today. There's lightning right above us, so this is going to be another excursion that we can do. Head to the tiki bar. Still looks pretty awesome. Over here. Oh, a little disappointing, but. Uh, at least I didn't get my camera gear wet. Sadly, a part of Colorado in the summer is the rain. It comes in fast and it comes in well, Damn, I'm trying not to say it come. <laughs> there are 300 days of sunlight here, but it was sunny earlier and it is not so sunny anymore. I'm not trying to get hit by lightning here. So all we can really do is sulk with a cold glass of beer. So like and subscribe, it really means a lot to my channel. I'm just starting out on YouTube, so it really does mean a lot. I'm gonna be Venmoing two subscribers each week, so Dave Murph and Shervin Yoga, check your Venmos. Now we have our sailing rescheduled, so stay tuned for that in the next few videos. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next week. Yo, Grim!